Hey guys, I just wanted to talk to y'all today about my experience with Barbizon. Before I get into this video, I just want to say that Barbizon has no affiliation with this video. This is just my personal experience with Barbizon and their classes and the company and everything. So, I started Barbizon August of 2014. I was actually going I was actually about to move into my freshman dorms, my first year of college. I got a call um, in like July or something saying, um, hey, we heard you're interested in our company, um, Barbizon, and I uh, would like to know if you want to come out where they were having like interviews or whatever. And so, you know, we're like, okay, there's nothing to lose, especially after the whole coast to coast deal. We're like, you know let's just see what they're talking about because it was something that i still wanted to do so we go out and then we have the interview and they like me and they're like yeah i'm gonna we'll probably call you tomorrow and see if you still want to do it because with barbazon you pay for classes which classes are pretty costly but it's definitely something that i really had no idea about like i know a lot more now about the industry and everything um now that I've been through Barbizon. So um, one of the mis one of the biggest misconceptions about Barbizon is that it's an agency and that it's a scam. However, Barbizon never promised me a contract. They never said that they were an agency. They're purely a school. You pay for the school, nothing more, nothing less. You do have competitions that you can't pay for. However, that is not required you don't have to do that if you don't want to however it is more exposure for you to for to so for scouts to see you classes are six months long it's one weekend out of every month so it's not really taking up that much of your time um you go for saturday and sunday and you're there i think average classes are like four hours mine was four hours in the afternoon so what they teach you is just overall stuff that you really need to know if you're really trying to be serious and break into the modeling industry. I learned so much with runway walks, um, like vocabulary, some of the stuff like they name off, like double H pose, um, a European, no, not double H pose, double H runway walk, um, European double half, have I didn't know any of that basically um, they teach you different poses we work on facial expressions we um, shoot like a music video where we're like walking down the runway and then we like do a little dance a little bit um, we touch a little bit on makeup stuff that I were I really didn't even wear makeup before I started going to Barbizon but I mean they don't force you to they just want you to you know whatever we practiced last class they want us to apply it the next class or something like that so um, besides that, we learned a lot of stuff about etiquette, like how to eat, like say if you're on a business lunch or a lunch for bu with business partners, um, how to set a table, um, how to get in and out of the car, how to enter and leave a room, um, just basic etiquette stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so a lot of stuff that I really did not know um, before. Um, and also our dress code was we had to wear a presentable um, dress or skirt or something like that. We always had to wear pantyhose. We had to wear heels, not too high, but not too low either. Um, you know, just very presentable look. They didn't want tattoos shown. They wanted your hair to be, you know, pretty well done. Um, no piercings in your face. So it was really just a nice experience, something I've never really been something I've never really done before and going into it I definitely learned a lot of stuff so much stuff like it's helped me so much it's gotten me so far I may not have even had to go to the classes because I because it is true that some modeling agencies if they really like you then they will pay for you to do that or they'll get you that that experience but I don't know I just I like it I think it's definitely got me where I need to be. It's definitely helped me. 
I had no idea how to reach out to agencies or any of that, how to take pictures, and they really supplied a lot of that. Like the, the pictures that we took in class were the pictures that we had. We didn't have to pay for any any of them, uh, any extra or anything. So within my school, there was this one of the head directors. She's not there anymore, but her name is Miss Bree, and she definitely, me and her definitely created this bond. She definitely looked out for me. Anytime I had a question, text her, call her. Even now to this day, I still call her anytime I have good news, anytime I have a question. I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do, I forgot. And um, what's the rules with this and all that stuff. So um, my Barbizon experience was definitely positive, definitely helped me out. I would do it all over again. Um, the people who don't, who think bad about it are people who have bad experiences because each school is different. It's one big, Barbizon is one big company, but different schools are run by different people. So I've definitely heard of horror stories. And also people who talk bad about Barbizon really just don't know what they're talking about. They haven't gave the company any type of research or anything. And yes, what they what they cost is pretty costly so some people might say oh you know for some for you to be able to reach out to an agency for free why would I pay for classes but the classes really just give you extra knowledge that you could use and put towards your breaking through into the um, modeling industry so um, I'm, I was actually going to talk about Anyways, I was actually going to talk about my competitions, but that will be in another video. Thanks. If you have any questions, just be feel free. Lord. If you have any questions, just feel free to... If you have any questions, just feel free to message or comment below. Thank you.